Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, yeah, I'm gonna say it again, Marvel Zombie Zombicide. Yeah, we're, we're working on that. This, this this whole set came out in just this big lump, and, and, and now I've got all these models, and, and I'm just, I'm trying to push through just the hero zombies and the villain zombies, and the heroes, and the villains, you know, so it, it, there's a ton, there's a ton, it, and, and, and I don't even have all the models, which is crazy. You, you should see how many there are for, for, for this game. It, it's it's insane. But anyway, I digress. Guys, we're going to bust out Rhino this week. So uh, not the not the, the 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 villain version, but the zombie version. So we're going to get a little little nasty on him. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you in there. Looks like we're going to be using just mostly gray tones here and my for the base i'm going to start out with a brown gray uh, this is a signature from matt seswish sexwish i still haven't gotten that right i still have I, I hope i'm pronouncing that right sexwish I mean, that, I get, that, that's what it looks like anyway i digress let's uh let's get this base down and uh, go from there all right let's do it with uh, with my mix for this or for the base, I'm going to use uh, probably two drops of this thinner to one to two drops, so maybe 50/50 really. A lot of times I'll do one drop, and then I'll do two of this. And one, it just depends on what you, uh, what mix you like. I like to go mine a little thinner so I can spray a little lighter and kind of layer out a little bit. So I usually do two drops to one and a half, roughly. All right. So I just wanted to throw that in there so you know what I'm mixing. So. We're going to do basically a drop and a half of this, two drops, and we're going to do one and a half of this. All right, let's do it. I don't know if you can see that down there in the bottom. That's just, that's two drops of the airbrush thinner, and that's it. Now we're going to get a drop, drop and a half of the brown gray. Two drops. I'm going to take my little stir stick. I'll stir it up comes out of there real nice, real thin. It's hard to see running down the side, but it's coming out real thin. It's exactly what we want. All right, let's get it sprayed. So what I did here is uh, I took I sprayed the brown gray from the bottom. I just kind of instead I did the reverse xenothal. I just where the black was I sprayed this this brown gray. It looks really nice. So and it's going to leave me. So now it shows me a map of where my highlights really need to go. Right as you can see it in there. That brown is nice. I sprayed it nice and deep in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, probably just warm gray, which is a bit brighter, and we'll spray it over the top. And then we'll mix that maybe with a little bit of ivory and go over the top in, in, in the higher areas, like we did with the rest of them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back with the white ink and we're going to spray in those sores so we can make them stand out really nice. All right, let's do it. I actually went back and added a little bit more of the warm gray here. All right, so I wanted to get a little, it was a little darker than I like because I mixed it with the uh, brown gray. All right, let's spray. We got that over the top there. We sprayed it real light. It's a little bit lighter than the dark. You can tell it's, it's again, it's hard to tell. Like last week we did Groot and the browns. We're, 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 we're at it with the grays now. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add a little bit of bright ivory to the mix. And I'm just gonna hit those key high areas. And I'm pretty sure he's done. I may go one more highlight. I, I'm not quite sure. But definitely I'm gonna mix bright ivory in with the warm gray, brown gray mix. All right, let's do it.
we go. We got the base down. I've got all the highlights. Well, I've got the pre hi I can't even say that. Those aren't highlights. I did the highlights. So, okay. Let's let's rewind here. I used the brown gray. I used the brown gray neutral gray mix and then I used the brown gray neutral gray bright ivory mix to get the general highlight. And then I went back with the ink and then I sprayed the ink, the white ink into the sores and into the onto the skull here and I did I did uh, I spot sprayed and went pop 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 on the on the feet there just to give them a little quick highlight and I also tipped the bones and the horn to give a little highlight when I go over with the bone bone color so now what we need to do is we're going to use probably I'm thinking some type of pink some type of magenta uh, maybe something like like this and I'm going to spray that into the source all right let's go ahead and do that got the magenta or I got started with the dark magenta in the sores and then we did a I did I didn't do the mix I ended up just doing just doing straight magenta and then I added ivory to the magenta and sprayed in the very centers and then I added another drop of ivory to, to the magenta and did another quick quick spray it, it's really nice and once we get the wash in there again it's gonna really blend all that stuff together and you can see how it kind of oversprayed on the skin to make it look you know, inflamed and, and torn, right? And I did a little bit in here where the where the uh, the flesh is coming from the skull there. So it's looking really nice. It's going to be really nice. So, all right. So next, uh, let's see. We need to we need to do the bones. So we're going to do the horn, the face, uh, the the bones here, and probably the feet there with a. And I believe we're going to use we're going to actually use bone. All right. Let's do it. What we did is we took some of that bone and we 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 watered it down and we layered all those bones on there real quick, real watered down so it's still thin and some of that pink came through a little bit to kind of give it some you know some of the the grime on the bottom. And then I did the face, I did the bone on the face, I did the, the feet with the ivory, and actually I did that with bone. And then I came back with a little bit of ivory mix and I mixed it with a little bit of the gray and I did highlights on the gray skin. It's really difficult to see. But it's all on there, and he's really starting to pop with that that mix. And when we get that wash on there, it's gonna even make it blend even even better. So he, this is looking really nice. I may even just leave that pink and put a red wash in there and and call it. And we need to get an orange eye there. But uh, other than that, he's looking really good. Uh, 
We're going to do the base like we did Groot. We're going to do some grays and greens, and then we're going to do some of that pigment in there and jam it in there. Again, this model is real quick and simple, right? Uh, grays, pinks, and that's about it. All right, so let's get the let's see, let's get the let's get the base going. All right. There we go, almost there. All we gotta do is get this base. What I just did is I crammed uh, that pigment down into the crevices and a little bit on his legs and his feet. And when that dries, it'll look dusty. And also when I get that matte varnish over the top, it, it's gonna really look nice. That Now now that eye and that face is just, uh, that's probably my favorite part. I just, that's really, man, gruesome. Look at that. Man, this guy's scary. All right, all right, so let's get that base. All right, let's do it. Well, there you have it, guys. Rhino, the the zombie version. Man, he's he's a bulky guy. He's he's man. He's I I've always liked the Rhino. And, and actually, I, I don't know if you guys do any of the video games, but in the in the 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 Miles Morales uh, video Spider-Man video game, they got a version of Rhino in there that's just it's pretty crazy. He's he's all bulked out and he's armored out. I don't know. He's pretty cool. Go check it out. Anyway, guys, what 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 a fun little paint. All we did was some simple grays. We used the airbrush. And we used the same technique we did on the Hulk. I did the gray, and then I sprayed the ink into the crevices where, where the sores were. And then we sprayed, uh, you know, some bright colors on top of that. I think the magenta and the, the dark magenta. And, and it turns out really well. Man, I really like him. And that matte varnish, that matte varnish does the trick. Anyway, I, I, can, I can go on and on. What, what a fun little paint. Uh, anyway, guys, get out there. Get this game. Get it painted. And I actually can't wait to see it on the table. I have never seen it on the table. I've played a little bit of Zombicide, but I've actually never played the Marvel Zombie Zombicide. It's all about the paint. One day, one day, I'll get there. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you next week.